You think this is better than this? Yeah? No, you're wrong! You see, these two massive British armies have been at war at each other for a year now. Which one do you think is better? We'll find out. On one side, we have Sharkus' British army, started in 2015. Right now, they're almost at 1 million members in their group, with 90 million visits in their game. How does the other one compare? Reaper's Aaron British army has been a massive competitor and rival to Sharkus's. They have 500,000 members and has been growing rapidly ever since. In terms of maps, both are very different and very unique. Reaper's game seems to be extremely massive. They have even got a massive area dedicated to just parachuting. Their airfield is also really huge, although the helicopter seems to die sometimes. I don't know what's happening. And they even got a building just for content creators. Oh my god, content creator? What fun is that? Ew. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, man, the devs put so much effort into like content creator. Ozimagus. However, these buildings also come at a price. Because of the amount of buildings they got, sometimes my frames is pretty low. 40 to 50 FPS at max graphics, you know? That is a little bit of a problem for me and for them. And adding on to that, the spawn area is also extremely far away from the uniform building, forcing you to walk for around a minute just to get to the uniform room. I bet this is why they're selling motorcycle game pass for sure. Oh, also, something that really annoys me is the amount of advertisements I get. Every five minutes, you get one of those like annoying ads asking me to buy like expensive game passes. Bro, just, just look at how much Robux I've got. I'm broke! Moving on. This game is really friendly toward new players as they got a beginner mode and even a tutorial. It tells you where to go and what exactly you gotta do. It even got this. Like, this thing. I don't know. Talking about the GUI on the game, the setting tabs allows the player to change a bunch of stuff like the graphics emoji, which is really useful. Other than that, the GUI looks extremely professional and smooth. I give this map a 9 out of 10. Moving to Sharkus' map, it is not as big as Breeper's map, allowing access to the uniforms much easier and faster. This map is brand new since it was released like two weeks ago, so I can't really criticize them that hard. The power deck has these red boxes that help prevent random players just joining into a uh, training, so that's really helpful. The map also has a mountain kind of vibes, you know, with the rivers and the uneven terrains. I really like the new combat facility they added, it's really good addition even though i don't think anyone has used it yet i haven't really seen anyone used it but still i think it's a good addition hopefully they keep that the graphics is really good too but uh, it still has a similar frame rate issue you know sometimes it's 40 sometimes 50 frame rates yeah yeah they have that issue i give this map a 9 out of 10 but which one's more fun though unlike sharkus's reaper seems to have more varieties they have the british army news the entertainment corps a judge regiment a medic regiment and even the content creator program it seems like in reaper's british army there are more choices on what regiments or groups you want to join other than that both groups has pretty much the same regiments like the royal military police army air corps and all that kind of stuff so both groups seems to also have events like ba scott talent game nights and many more fun events i think both groups have their pros and cons definitely but i have to say that both groups are really good if you want to join any of them it really just depends on your preference and what you like maybe you should try the opposing ba you know just for fun anyways with everything summed up i will have to crown the winner and the winner goes to uh, I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Subscribe. Bye.